Welcome to the Power Play Reconnect experience. I'm your host, Ruth Haskins. We always have a quote, and therefore, this is the quote for today. Mental pain is less dramatic than physical pain, but it is more common and also more hard to bear. The frequent attempt to conceal mental pain increases the burden. It is easier to say, my tooth is aching, than to say, my heart is broken. C.S. Lewis. So here we are. We are allegedly post-pandemic, and I'll leave it at that. However, the after effects of the pandemic are still being felt in so many new ways. One way is that the mental health of people continues to be under stress. Although people are talking more about mental health and admitting to having multiple mental health stressors, there may be something else. And for the time being, I'll call that something else the wall. As the restrictions were lifted during the pandemic, people began to emerge slowly from their safe, isolated surroundings. Soon, we sought to return to activities that were once familiar, yet as we experienced the once familiar and enjoyable activities, there was a big difference. At first, it wasn't noticeable, but as an example, a mother recently told me about her experience as a chaperone for her son's end of the school year field trip. Prior to the pandemic, she was a regular chaperone for all her son's field trip events and activities. What she noticed, not only in others, but also in herself, was the reticence with which people communicated with each other. Teachers, chaperones, and children were all unnaturally quiet on the bus trip, both to and from the field trip location. The usual high energy conversation, laughter, and shared excitement were absolutely absent. Although the pandemic restrictions were not enforced, there was a noticeable and touchable distance between everyone. Everyone was polite, was what she said, but it was as if the pandemic has created an invisible and impenetrable wall between and among us. So I question, could it be that the fear factor along with government restrictions has created a separation among people that has become a new social norm? Could it be that social distancing is part of the new normal? We could easily recognize social distancing as part of a precautionary measure during the pandemic, but has it taken on a new dimension? And what does this mean? And what could be the future results? Whenever humans separate themselves from one another in groups, either by location or mental and social attitudes, it allows for misconceptions and prejudices to surface. We have witnessed this all through human history, most recently in the Holocaust, but in the United States, also through the Japanese internment camps, the removal of indigenous peoples to reservations, and of course, African slavery. Have we fully recovered emotionally or mentally from those events? And we know the answer is no. So the next question is, can we, will we now work to recover from the effects of the pandemic or will the impact of social distancing become a new paradigm of our collective mental, emotional and social health? Today, it's more than just a thought. It's a concern. This is Ruth, and this is the Power Play Reconnect experience. Thank you for listening.